cringe-worthy AMSR. I'm opening a package. <laughs> mm, yeah, anyway. Hello, hello, all of you out there in Cyberland. It's time for another episode of Diecast Norp's, Norps Galactic, Galactic Hooligan. Hooligan. And today, I'm actually going to bring you something awesome. We are actually at the end, I think the, at the end of Toy Fair now over in New York City, and we've actually been bombarded by all the Arthrise figures and all the things coming in from Cyberverse and that sort of thing, and it's so freaking awesome. I really can't wait to actually uh, get a Skylinks in hand and everything, like you know? Like, that's actually gonna be awesome. I'm still looking for an Omega Supreme. And um, yeah, that's actually a guy that I actually have to have. But did you see it at Scorponok? Holy shit, that guy's gonna be great. So today, I'm actually gonna bring you something that I actually found while perusing the target and everything like that. And today, I'm so happy to be able to bring you Earthrise Optimus Prime. I'm actually super happy with this guy, and I can't wait to show him off to you. Look at look at how I'm actually making him gleam. Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. Anyway, so welcome to my show. Talk to you guys. All right, everybody. Here we go. It's time. It's time for Rome. Earthrise Optimus Prime. Finally, we got an Optimus Prime in the Earthrise edition, and since he's actually one of the first bots to actually come out here, I am super excited to actually see this guy. He is awesome. Now, I'm actually going to say one thing altogether and everything, and I'm not exactly sure if he should have actually been charged the leader price and everything like that, but yeah, I kind of think, I also kind of think that Hasbro and Takara knows that we would probably go over to like maybe a third party company and everything like that to actually get something just as good. You know, this is actually kind of like better than some of the stuff that I've actually seen. So, you know, is it worth it? Let's see. You know, like I love them. You know, I'm going to say this right off the bat. I love them. And that's not me being biased about Optimus Prime. Or it might be. I don't know. But um, yeah, I really love this figure. And um, I just let's show you a little bit of the detailing on the cap itself. That's really, really awesome. Actually, kind of like harkens me back to like the Diaclone days and everything. You can actually take this off over here to give you a better look of what he'll actually look like in the back. You know, very nice detailing. I'll actually have to say that I don't think that he's actually sharing really anything with the uh, Siege Optimus Prime or anything like that as far as like anything. That I think maybe the feet, possibly, you know? But like, that's pretty much it. Otherwise than that, I think this is actually like a brand new sculpt altogether. The only thing, a part of contention that I would have actually said that I, I love this and I think that it actually kind of like really reminds me of MP10 in so many ways. And I keep on thinking that the only thing that Hasbro might have actually missed on this cab mode is just like maybe like having that MP10 thing where he actually like has that one extra panel that you can actually bring out to cover this area over here and make them all red because like I, I think that that would have actually fit the cohesion of the whole entire truck but aside from that very cool stuff here I really like it I'm oh hold on let me just let me just show you a little bit more of this front look at that I love the fact that he's actually all techy and everything like that with all these panels here and everything like that. And it kind of like reminds me a lot of like the Siege robots and everything like that, you know? And that's cool, you know? Only because of the fact that I like the fact that it actually transfers into it. Um, these these uh, oil tankers right over here and everything like that, they actually don't stay in place. So once you actually get it out, it's actually really easy to put it back in there and everything. And you know it's actually going to be, those are actually going to become the legs. So um, yeah, aside from that, no real issues or anything like that. I like them. Uh, the only issue that I may have is probably with the, with the trailer itself, you know? But I'll come back to that in just a second. 
Okay, and this is because I want to show you exactly what he is compared to his uh, to his Siege counterpart. I say, there goes Optimus Prime right over here from Siege, and we can actually appreciate his Mad Max components and everything like that. Cannot wait to see the next full of the Netflix tie-in with this, because like this is actually gonna be pretty awesome. I love the fact that they're actually making the whole trilogy so freaking good on you, Hasbro and Netflix. Holy shit, I can't believe that we're actually getting this. And there goes our Earthrise version. And see, comparison-wise, they are so different from each other. It's great. The one thing that I actually think that, like I said before, like um, over here, where the wheels are, where this leg isn't like covered or anything like that. I kind of feel like they needed to borrow a little bit more from MP10 to get that panel right there to like cover the legs. Like this one actually does beautifully. Like uh, this is actually great. Like there's no transformation marks over here or anything like that. Nothing that actually really says that he's actually a robot. I love the fact that he actually covers everything. With this one, you actually do see that this isn't covered over here or anything like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oil tankers are actually out there, but like it's just this little bit that I wished that actually had like another, an extra panel someplace or the other to like actually cover that. Otherwise, I don't really have like an issue with it. And yes, everybody, if you actually wanna know if he does interact with his other, with the uh, Optimus Prime's uh, part here. Um, yeah, there we go. All you have to do is, no, nah, there we are. And he actually does interact with the trailer. So, there we are. Now, that we've actually gone into the cab part, I would actually like to go into the trailer itself. Now, the trailer itself is actually okay, you know? I uh, kind of like, I did a report on this on Toy Wizards, where I actually decided to like actually take a look at the cab, at the trailer itself, and I kind of feel like, there's like some things missing over here. Like I kind of wish this actually had like a decent wheel well over here or something like that. And like, I think that that would have actually like sold this to me a little bit more. And I know third party companies will probably be watching this and everything like that. So third party, make it happen. Oh, also, ha uh, Target, thank you. Thank you for like actually having these accessible. You know, I'm actually kind of really super surprised that these are actually coming out in your stores now and everything. And I haven't had an issue with being able to find anything just yet. Thank you. Finally, you're kind of like, uh, it's kind of like you're actually almost uh, like a uh, head of the game or something, you know? So I'm actually really surprised about that. Please keep that up. Target, I'm looking at you. Please keep it up. Walmart. <clears throat> do what Target is doing. That's all I'm saying. Listen to your big brother. Anyway, so look at this. I love the way this actually looks. And uh, like, I think that there are a couple of things that are actually missing on here and everything like that. Like I love like the Autobot symbol over here. I love this. This is actually very cool. I don't know if I actually want it to be like another color altogether, or maybe I'm actually like harping too much on G1. When you actually open it up, there's like all this great detail that actually goes all the way over here and here. If I were a painter, if I were a customizer, I think I would actually just like paint everything in here in like blue and like gold and silver. But like, I don't wanna start painting and burn my house or anything like that, you know what I mean? So there we are. Now, he actually, this trailer part actually does come off and you can actually use it for any siege character and everything like that in order to like use it as a shield. And this will actually like interlock with say like hoist or that or like any other um i think they actually have like a few of the characters that actually make bridges and that sort of thing and that's kind of cool you know but for me i'm pretty much gonna leave it over here you know and then we actually have this piece right over here the medic side of the things you know and that's actually kind of cool you know the only thing that i actually think is actually missing on this is that i think it should have actually been casted in blue plastic 
or it should have actually been like painted or something, or maybe the, the uh, window over here should have actually been painted, or maybe it should have actually been developed a little bit more. I mean, it's cool for what it is, you know? And this actually becomes like another piece that Optimus Prime can actually use in robot mode, where he can actually use it as a jetpack or like as like another piece of fighting equipment or just like as your normal medical assistant over here. So just to showcase that, well, actually just bring in Jazz, you know? He's sick. He's actually got, a, he's actually got like a tummy ache or something. He stubbed his toe, you know? And so this guy will actually be here fixing him up. And that's actually cool, you know? So like, I like it, you know, I like it, but I think it could have actually uh, had like a little something extra, you know? Like, um, I don't know, what am I thinking here? What else could have actually been in here that could have actually been extra? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe a uh, bleeding roller or something? You know, like, I don't know. Like, I think that the price point alone should have actually had us be able to have like a roller or like a, and like the ax, where's my Energon ax, you know? Like, there we go, I'm actually using Breacher as my roller for now, and this is actually from the Hunt De for the Decepticons, if you guys are actually curious. So, if you guys actually are looking for a roller or something like that, this will actually make a great stand-in, you know? And uh, he's actually pretty much gonna be my official roller. He transforms, so there we go. Uh, and, you know, you can actually roll down. And um, if you're actually wondering if he actually works with any of your Siege characters and everything like that, you know, like, uh, I will show you that with uh, Cliff Jumper, and if you actually want him to like come in here, like there we go. He actually goes in, and there we are, and he's actually staying in. Like I love this. This is actually cool. Like I, I, I like it. I love it, and I think that it actually misses a couple of cues, you know. And as far as Optimus is actually concerned, I think that. This is actually cool altogether. I love the fact that his wheels actually match in the back. I kind of wish that they actually did black wheels with like a silver overlay on the front, you know? And I see why they actually did it the way they did there, but um, I don't know. And then I was actually kind of curious because like I didn't know, there we go, we'll put that to the side for a second. I didn't know if like maybe the trailer might've actually been like a little bit too short. So I started playing around with a couple of things. I actually went into the Dark of the Moon trailer that they actually had for the Deluxe Optimus. And you know, that would have actually been kind of cool also. Like I love that length right there. And I think the length would have actually been like very cool. Um, even though the other one, this trailer kind of reminds me of like more of the Diaclone uh, commercials and everything like that, even though they actually did use a longer trailer for that also, you know, but I think that's actually kind of cool. I also went in back for a bit and then I went back into classics because I thought the E3 trailer would have actually been so cool on this guy. If I actually had like an attachment for that, that would actually be pretty dope. I like that. And I love the fact that the wheels at back here actually match along with these wheels. The only thing about this is that when you actually get to the front cab, it looks like it's actually like a little bit too big or something, you know? But um, there we go. That's actually for your grand adventures and everything like that. I haven't found a way to make them connect because this is actually made for the Classics Optimus Prime more than anything else. So if you're looking for a trailer, if you can actually find a way to make them connect, let me know in the comments. And uh, there we are. Now I am going to show you this one more time before I actually bring him over to stage B. There we are. Optimus Prime with the full trailer. There we go. Now I'm going to take you over to stage B. We'll actually transform him and then we'll come back here. All right, my lords and my lovely ladies. I am actually going to bring you into robot mode from this truck boat right over here. And one thing I actually have to say is that he doesn't really, he really doesn't transform like the, uh, like the Siege version of Optimus Prime. And I really like the way this guy actually comes out. I 
think that they were thinking more of like letting him have like a certain flow when it actually comes down to transforming. So let me uh, start you off. We'll actually start off by removing this, the gun, and the gun just unfolds just pretty easily right over here. And then we'll actually have a complete ion cannon right over here, which is actually very cool. I love how solid this is. And um, yeah, look at that. That's actually very, very cool. I love the fact that he actually has a peg that actually pegs to the back. So we'll actually start off by just collapsing the, uh, the tanks right over here. We will open this the wheels, start opening the panels on the side, and there's another one right over here on the top, and you'll actually notice that there are a couple of like places roll along and everything that, that, that you just like put a nail into and then just grab it and it works. So we'll lower the legs down a bit, we'll put these panel pieces in to his knees. There we go. We'll move his arms out. The familiar part of Optimus Prime's transformation. We'll open this and the panels right over here to bring out his hands. I think. Wait. There we go. There we are. And then right in the back, there are two little pieces right over here that go in on one side and in on the other, and that'll actually become a part of Optimus's waist. Then we'll bring down his legs. We can then open up his feet and detach it by a really nice connection that's actually right in the middle here. Then we'll go over here and we'll open this up, snap that apart, bring this up, so that whole entire panel actually comes up. Then right in the back, we'll do this to get the head out. There we go, and then there goes his head. We'll tilt that to a 180, bring this piece right into that notch. So just put plug that in, and then, just put all these panels in. That's one thing that's actually kind of shared between the both fig between both the figures, where you actually have to put the panels in. But I love how it's actually done here. It actually just magically goes right into his chest. Even this piece just collapses and goes right onto the inside. Then you connect it all in here and then connect all of that. That's beautiful. I love that. As soon as I saw that, I kind of like noticed like kind of like the, I don't want to say origami styling of it or how musical it actually looks to me, but that's perfect. Rotate his waist, <clears throat> put this up, and then put the wheels in the back. And there you go. Your Cybertronian matrix holder the one and only leader of the Autobots is actually ready for you, and there we are. All you have to do now is put the gun inside his hands, or on his back if you'd like, and there we go, whatever your druthers. Now I'm gonna meet you back over at stage A, and we'll finish off this review. Okay everyone, and here we go. And there goes, Optimus Prime. What else can I say about him? He's Optimus Prime. All right, good night, everybody. No, just kidding. Listen, I love everything that this guy actually does. Optimus Prime has actually got to be like one of my favorites so far. Aside from the back not being painted or like uh, the blue plastic not being added back here and like my concerns with the black wheel with these wheels uh, like having to be black and like maybe painted and I understand why they actually did it from a design to, uh, from a design aspect I think that's actually cool but I still would have actually liked to see it being black but aside from that this guy is actually very very amazing very cool altogether let's give him a close up
give a close up of that grill. Classic Optimus Prime. Like, look at that guy. That face. That face. He is your Matrix holder. He is your true leader. Now, I think the only thing that's actually shared between him and, like, say, maybe the Siege Optimus Prime might be the faces and maybe the... I'm not exactly sure how much the feet are actually shared or anything like that. But otherwise than that, they're so different from one another. Now... This guy has a like a lot of articulation. We actually have a 360 by the head right over here, not hindered by anything. We actually have a rotation by like over here where you actually have a 360 by that universal joint. He actually moves in due to transformation. He actually has 90 degrees over at his uh, over at his elbow. He actually has like wrist articulation and hand articulation what look at that that's actually great he actually has waist articulation over here hindered by the back uh, by the back wheels but if you actually really needed him to do some real dynamic posing you could always remove it just a bit and then just like uh pose him any way you actually want to because nobody's actually going to judge you or anything i don't think anybody's going to look at the back and then say faker Faker! Yeah, you know what I mean? So, there we go. He actually kicks up that high. He actually kicks back that much, hindered by this. He actually has a rotation at the thigh. He has a deep knee bend right over here. Super appreciated. Rocker joints, you know? So, if you actually need him to do some kung fu, there we go. You know, he is ready. And I really love this prime like full roundhouse right over here nobody's stopping him whatsoever that's great i love this prime and the fact that he actually comes with so much detailing and everything like that you know you can actually put him in like super dynamic poses and he is awesome he's also effects compatible just let me bring this in here and um, this time, I'm actually going to use Jetfire parts because I think like a dynamic uh, bot like this should actually have dynamic pieces. Look at that. Like a badass. Look at that. Perfect. I really, really love this Prime. Like this is actually like this. Ah, oh, I love it. You know? And like I said, he's I think that he's actually like a lot more simply done than like uh, the Siege version of him and everything like that. But I love the fact that he actually flows so well, you know? Let me give you like a little thing that actually made me this like gush because... Okay, let me give you a little piece of what actually makes me gush with glee like that... I don't know, the kid in me and everything like that is actually loving this, you know? matrix of leadership action what you can actually take it out uh let me see it's actually kind of like hard to get into but once it's out it's out and it's not it's actually like just handled by uh just a couple of clips that are actually on that are actually on the inside i almost kind of wish that they actually had like a lighting system on the inside over here to make this work and that matrix is very cool too like I really love that also kind of wish that this was actually kind of like a lighter color and everything like that because uh, let me just grab like a little something here just to show you that could have actually been so cool if it was like a bit able to get lit because like the way that's actually done there just very cool stuff I love that and just goes right on the inside love all the detailing that actually goes in here also just very very choice there we go let's put that in here and put that in here and just really really cool stuff all of this detailing and everything like that though jeez louise look at this now i love the fact that the wheels over here are now kind of like painted along with the gunmetal kind of like uh look right in the back and everything like that I see from a design point or from a designer point and everything like that I kind of feel like the wheels should have actually been of like of the wheels kind of like co like work cohesively with the rest of the body and I think that that's what they were actually going for pretty much and everything like that like I could actually bitch as much about the wheels and everything
everything like that just being like uh just like not being as cohesively like uh uh, co uh, as cohesive as like say the bottom wheels right over here and everything like that but like I think my only point of contention would probably be like this wasn't painted in silver but I understand what they were actually going for am I angry about it not really you know like I could actually kind of I could actually kind of like go into nerd rage and keep on talking about that but like I don't think I'm actually going to like that's actually okay you know um this right over here, unpainted. I kind of wish that they actually like did like pla like painted plastic all the way around or something like that. One design point I don't really get is like painting the back of his head and not leaving the rest of it alone, you know? Like if it were up to me, I think the only thing I would actually do is like maybe brighten the eyes and everything like that and then just like maybe just like left this paint or like this styling all on the back you know, like I think that would actually kind of be kind of cool, and I guess they actually did that to make it just like stand out a little bit more, you know. But um, aside from that, that's about it. And like I don't know, I kind of like also like this look also and everything like that. Like I love his face over here. Over here, it looks like they're actually kind of like going back towards like the 1984 design and everything like that, and I can respect that. I get it, you know. Um, do you want to change the heads? I don't know. Like they're both cool. You know? And there we are. Now, let me show you how he actually interacts with this. With this, you can actually, like, uh, put him in the trailer and everything like that. Like, it's actually 1984 all over again, where he actually has this repair bay. Uh, there we are. And am I giving you enough over here? Yeah, it looks, let me raise the camera up just like a little bit. There we go. And you can actually have him stand in his repair bay. You know, that's actually okay. You know, matrix in hand and everything like that. You know, just in case Ratchet's not around or anything. You know, and that's okay. You know, or you can do this. I'm afraid his wounds are dire. Make room, noob. What, Ratchet? You're back? I fixed myself. Wheeljack! Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's fix him up. Ah, oh, God. I can't believe that we're actually working with amateurs here. Ah, uh, Perceptor. He's such a hack. Anyway, so, like, this is, like, another thing altogether that I think is actually kind of cool. Now, if you actually wanted to, like, make him interact with the trailer even further, you can actually take this off and put it like that. And I guess you could actually, like, do this. And you can store this right on his back. And what you've actually created here is you've actually created, like, a little bit of Jetman action. Look at this. You actually have like a uh, thrusters. There we go. And there we go. I really wish Hasbro and uh, Takara would actually sell more of these effects parts by themselves. I mean, guys, you are missing such a gold mine with like making these effects parts more readily, uh, readily available and everything like that. I would actually buy every single one of them. And there we go. And we actually have our... Hold on. There we go. Sorry, guys. Covering the thing. Looking at it from my perspective. And there we go. Now you actually have your aerial commander and everything. And that is just so dope. I really kind of like that, actually. Like, I'm not even lying about that. Like, I thought it was actually kind of like a meh kind of a thing. And then when I actually had it in hand... Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It actually kind of brings out, like, more playability and everything like that, you know? So, like, whatever you're actually doing, like, there we go. He don't need no side swipes, uh, he don't need no side swipes, um, what do you call it? Like, a jetpack or anything like that. He could actually just go off all by himself to fight Megatron if he actually wants to. Bring down the Nemesis, damn it, by yourself! Shoosh! Like, this is cool. I really like this. Am I actually going to give, like, oh, and you can also use this as, like, extra weaponry, I guess, you know? So, like, that's actually kind of cool, too, you know? So, like, 
a lot of stuff that you can actually do with this guy and everything like that. And he actually has such great dynamics for everything. You know, I really love this guy. Am I going to give this guy like a grade and everything like that? I think I would actually give him like an A, like a solid A. Like, uh, like uh, I'm not even going to say like, and that's, I, I don't know if that's actually because I'm biased, guys and girls, you know? But like, I really love this figure. I think he's great. I think he's actually worth getting even at the, pr at the price point of like, of um being a leader class and everything well like i said before there are going to be like a couple of things here and there that we're all going to be disagreeing about and everything you know but like i don't know like I, I really like him oh hold on let me just show you off with like a comparison here let us bring in a little bit of alita one action for the netflix series that's actually coming up pretty soon i love that and let's bring him in with like some more of his Autobots. Let's see. Since we're actually going Earthwise and everything like that, we're going to take Alita out for a moment. And we're actually going to bring in Cliff Jumper. I don't have any of the other Earthrise figures yet or anything like that. So let's, let's bring in some of the ones that we actually already have. So here goes my Generations Jack. Uh, let me bring in some Skids action. There we go. And some jazz. And that looks great together. You know, like he's fitting in with like all, every single toy line and everything like that. I think that's actually really perfect. So you will not be wrong getting this guy whatsoever. He fits with everything. He fits with like all your generation. He fits in with your, with your, uh, Oh, he fits in with your generations, with your classics. He actually fits in with Siege, you know? So, like, everything about this is actually amazing. And, and he is your wave mate with Earthrise Astro Train, which is going to be probably my next review and everything. So, like, I am really stoked about these guys all together. I didn't think I was going to find an Astro Train out there at all or anything like that. I'm actually really shocked that I was actually able to find, like, an Astro, like, an Earthrise Astro Train. Uh, from what I'm actually hearing, they're actually coming over to your stores and everything like that, two in a box. And I lucked out with getting these guys. So, there we go. And should you get Optimus, I think he would actually be great. But you're going to hear my final thoughts in just a microsecond. So there we go. Your leader, Optimus Prime. I know I keep on talking a lot about the changing of the guard. And when it comes to that, I know that Cliff Jumper was really ready to go and everything like that as far as being like a definitive like uh, a definitive newcomer and everything like that, the definitive successor for the older Cliff Jumper. But as far as Optimus Prime, this guy is actually such a great standard, you know, like the siege uh, the siege figure is amazing, you know, but as far as Earthrise Optimus Prime actually goes. This guy is actually such a definitive piece. Like, am I going to say that he's the definitive Optimus Prime? I used to say that about about um, classics. I used to say that about like a whole lot of them. Even when it came down to Siege, I actually said that about Siege too. This time, I think we've really hit the mark and everything like that as far as anything else. Will, they call, will Hasbro and Takara come back out next year and do something else amazing and make me think that? Probably. You know, but I really love this figure. This figure is great. Matrix of leadership. Everything about this guy is amazing, and nobody can beat. Uh, nobody can defeat New Prime. Nobody. Nobody. You hear me? I'm sorry. Anyway, so um, there we go. Optimus Prime. He's actually gonna go in my in this small section right over here and everything like that to lead my Autobots to final victory and I love it so uh, that's it from me also I can't wait for like all the other figures to be coming out pretty soon and everything like that we're actually gonna have like a new siege well we're gonna have like a new Earthrise uh, smoke screen what I thought that this guy was actually gonna be like the only smoke screen that uh, that was actually worth it and everything like that and like but then I saw 
the smoke screen that was actually coming up from Earthrise, and he's almost masterpiece. He almost looks like he's actually masterpiece built. Um, I'm excited. I'm actually really excited to see what else actually comes out. So um, that should be about it. Uh, that should be about it. I think like everything's actually like starting to become even more ma more and more magical as we actually go along and everything like that. I can't wait to see what other tricks Hasbro and Takara has actually bought for us and to see what else is actually out there and everything like that. You know, and when these stop being magical, that's when I'll stop collecting. Thanks for joining me. I'm Diecast Norbs, and also be good to yourselves and be good to each other out there and everything because the Galactic Hooligan says that the most gangster thing that you can actually do is being kind. So, take care everyone.